Yo, what's up, BeatStars fam? Um, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial today showing you how to use our Google Analytics and conversion tracking with Google for your pro page and players. Um, so if you don't already know, um, in your pro page and in your players, we give you the ability um, to put in your Google Analytics ID. And you can find that inside of My Media um, left-hand panel pro page, or you go into your players, your HTML5 player, um, edit a player that you've already created and scroll down to the bottom here and put in your Google Analytics ID as well here. Um, it's recommended to have two different IDs for two different products. So if you're using our pro pages, use um, a different ID than the one that you're using for your player. All right. So just to show you how to create an analytics uh, ID, I'm going to take you to our um, analytics account here. And once you're logged in, um, go into admin and then click the drop down of analytics accounts that you have set up and then click create new account. In here, you're going to give your account um, its name. So if you want to call it um, pro page something for your, for your producer pro page, the name of your website, let's just use for example, the beat plug. Dot com and then here you want to put in the full URL of your um, website whether you have the embeddable player there or you are using your this domain for your pro page and then you want to select industry arts and entertainment um, this is all optional you don't have to click this for Google but if you want to you can um, and then you select get tracking ID after agreeing to the terms, you go, I accept. And then now you have um, a tracking ID. So this, this tracking ID here is what you're going to copy and paste into your beat store, I'm sorry, into your um, player or in your pro page area. At the bottom here, you just paste in the ID. Um, but there's one more step to make sure that you are converting traffic for um, conversions and counting your plays and all the other data that we're tracking for you. So you can kind of get an idea, you know, where your fans are located, what territories, who's buying your music, you know, what ad campaigns are, are working for you. So what you're going to do is um, you're going to go back to home and you're going to click the account that you made. And then jump into admin. And then here you're going to see e-commerce settings. And then inside of e-commerce settings, you want to activate on for status and then en enable related products as well. Then click next and then also enable enhanced e-commerce settings and then submit. And just to kind of give you an idea of the type of data you're going to be getting from this, I'm going to use a... Um, a dummy account that we created just to show you. So I'm in um, this um, pro page Google Analytics tracking for um, you know a dummy account and I'm just going to show you some of the things that you can really gain from from having access to analytics for your website. So I'm going to go here and go into acquisition and I'm going to look at basically you know, just an overview of, you know, where, where am I, you know, where am I getting the most transactions? Um, looking at from direct traffic, social, social traffic, organic traffic, referral, or paid search. So if you have a paid campaign, you can go in there. You know, I want to go into social and I want to see, you know, where our transactions are coming from. And it looks like We've got an Instagram, a sale from Instagram coming in. Um, so uh, it was for $30 and it came from Instagram. So you're, you're starting to see, you know, which platforms um, you really want to start advertising on and which ones perform the best. So that's where you go for, a, uh, for acquisition. And then you can go into actual like conversions and click e-commerce, click overview, and you can really just kind of see which, which, which tracks are selling, you know, which tracks are selling. Um, and you can see, you know, where your, you know, revenue is coming from, whether it's coming from, 
you know, um, you know, directly to your website or Google or you know whatever it is, um, and you could see all that data there. Um, you could see transactions all the way down to the transaction numbers and see how much you're making on on a per beat. And then you could see sales performance. And then another really cool thing is if you go into behavior, you could see um, events. So behavior events, and you could see some of the um, things that we're tracking. So we're um, if you look at event action, and you see, you start to see like what are people doing with your music? Are they playing it? Are they adding it to your cart um, and things like that? And you could see if you click the play action, you could see which tracks of yours are. Um, getting played and so we can go event label and you can see all the different tracks that are being played and um, and all that kind of good stuff so this is just a quick tutorial showing you how to use Google Analytics for conversion tracking for your pro page and players and get a real deep understanding of what your customers are doing on your website or on your player to find out what campaigns are doing really really well for you and which ones you probably want to stay away from and which platforms are um, converting. All right, cool.